Hey everybody, welcome to our year-end review. This is the year where you know you get me and a whole bunch of YouTubers giving you their top five, top ten, blah, 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 blah. You're going to get inundated with a bunch of these. Uh, I will apologize for nobody because this is the coolest time of the year. Uh, we are doing something a little different. We're going to be doing our top 50, but we're going to break it down into 10 different lines. We're going to merge some companies together. We're going to have some uh, lines by themselves because they're so good. But we're going to do 10 different lines. And from the, the winner from each one of these is going to go into our overall top 10, where we do the grand finale, where we pick our favorite figure of the year. So let's get started. We're back at it again. This time it is the top five Mezco figures. Hope you guys are having a great holiday. Welcome. If you're new here, like and subscribe. Here we go. We're going to have one honorable mention from the Mezco line, and then we'll get into our top five. So honorable mention is the 2099 Spider-Man. It is a good figure. I like it. He's got some good things going for him. It is a stylized Mezco type of figure. So if you're not a fan of Mezco and their cloth goods, you're going to not like it. I thought it was a decent figure and I thought it was worthy of being noted in the honorable mention because this is a really different take on a Spider-Man figure. We're always used to the Marvel Legends and the Mafex. So yeah, we got the Mezco 2099 as the honorable mention. All right, on to our top five. Number five on the list is Articus Doom. This guy has got a ton of things going from the cloth goods are awesome on him. Articulation is still there, which is nice. The skull, all of that stuff is really cool. Articus Doom is an outstanding figure with a billion accessories. So good. He is number five on the list. Number four on the list is a little bit of a throwback, a retro looking Two-Face from the Batman series. And I really, really dig this guy. He's got some bright colors going for him. But the outfit, the face, how it's lined up and everything's great. This is a great figure that stands out in your collection. That's because it's its bright color. It's just a unique looking color. And I think they did a good job with the face. And I think they really, really hit it out of the park with this guy. Simple, but yet effective. Really gives that uh, the two-face uh, vibe. And it's really cool that he's got a hand with the built uh with the locked in coin so it doesn't fall over the place you don't have to try to peg it in it's just right there everything about this guy i like him he's a great two-faced figure so he stands at a number four on our list number three on the list that caught me off guard it's the pink skulls the rock band group that they had they've relaunched it in another version twice already because how popular it was it sold out really fast but all three of those characters have a unique look to them but all of them have great articulation and great outfits that don't hinder the movements quite well. I thought the leather uh, clothing would hinder it, but it doesn't. The face looks great. The accessories are awesome. This is a great figure. It's a must have if you're a Mesco fan, the pink skulls. Number two on the list caught me off guard. I wasn't really looking for a figure like this, but whenever you see a figure once in a while that it just got that unique look to him and you're like, Tom, I'm, I'm probably going to pick this up. I don't have a whole lot of attachment to it. But number two on the list is Nemo from the Mezco line. He looks phenomenal. He's got a lot of things going for him. He just looks like that old school captain, you know, from this Tales of Nemo. Just a brilliant figure. Well done. So much crafting on him. The, the amount of work done and the details on the figure, the accessory is top notch. Nemo lands in at number two. It is an awesome figure. Number one on the list is one of my favorite DC characters is Constantine. He looks awesome. I love this look because it's the TV series look. And I really, really like this character. He's got a ton of accessories. But the cool thing about him is just that the outfit, the tie, the don't give a shit attitude. I'm going to, you know, kill demons with my magic spells and my cigarette in my hand. Is such an awesome looking figure. It is without a doubt one of my favorite Mezco figures of all time, not just of this year, but all time. It is an awesome figure. It's a must have. Go get this guy. Constantine knocks it out of the park. Great figure. It is number one on the list and it's going to go into the overall 2022 figure of the year video, which we'll do at the end. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here. 
go and watch all the other videos that we're dropping leading up to the finale video as always have yourself a great day and a holiday take care bye bye